in previous uh, example I demonstrated combo box and the list box um, and I hard coded some some of the values so how about if I have a list in my C sharp code and I want to populate that combo box from the list so that's called actually uh, binding so I will add another window and I will name it as WPF data binding. So I will just copy, change app.xaml, and I will say that this is WPF data binding. Alright, so in this window, I will let's say for example use uh, this box and uh, Alright, so I will give it a name. Let's say, for example, let's give it from here. It's not working, so name is list box. Let's say, for example, uh, list of names. So normally we actually add items from uh, here. So let's so we manage normally items from here. So this time I'm actually using a list in uh, my program. So let's create a list over here. So list of type string in string in this case let's say name list names and I will add few names over here let's say for example John list is dot list box dot names and I can actually use item source property to attach this list directly uh, uh, with uh, with this list box so if I run this you can see a list of these items right and uh, <coughs> and uh, in this case I have just uh, uh, an object of type string I can also have a complex uh, objects over here so let's uh, uh, let me add a class <coughs> over here let's say for example maybe a contact class <coughs> and that contact class has public string name and public string number contact number contact name this can be a complex object having several properties so let's have these two properties so I will actually create a list of type contact so name it as list contact list of contact I will create contact objects so let's say for example new contact and uh, I'm using properties name so name is let's say sorry John and the number is let's say plus four six something and uh, another contact and the name is let's say for example David and 
<coughs> number is plus one something all right so in instead of uh, having a list of string i'm actually attaching with the list of contact all right so if i run this you see uh, i have two contact which are actually the contact object in this namespace and uh, uh, these are two objects which are actually inside this uh, in this uh, this box <clears throat> but unfortunately it does not display anything so i can do one thing is the quick fix is i can actually override the true string method and I actually return let's say for example oops return this dot name plus let's say for example in following format and I will add a number over here so this dot number and I will close this like this so if I run this it will actually display the string representation of these objects all right so this is the simplest thing and uh, uh, this is actually I provided an item source actually this is a list and how about if this list is somehow modified what will happen then so uh, before uh, going to this point I actually want to introduce binding so in the binding let's say for example if I select a contact so let's add a label over here and I will just zoom it a bit so the contact list and uh, if I select a contact so I use a text box to display that contact let's say for example contact name and uh, I actually don't need to program anything to do that I just search for the something went wrong with my properties so there is no text <coughs> okay so I, I can actually use binding in my text property and I can say that I want to bind this text property with the element which is a list box and the path is selected item all right let's see what happens so I'm actually connecting this uh, this 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 box with this uh, this the selected item of this element and I want to display this like this so you see that uh, uh, I can see this object over here and then I see see this whole string over there and how about if I want to say that I want to see the selected item dot name over here so instead of whole selected item because ultimately in the backend it's an object so I want to see the name only instead of this so we see the name and number because of two string implementation so we actually over override this two string and that representation because of this but actually that's an object having a name and number properties separately so I can actually bind that object and properties like this so this is a text box it has a binding with the uh, list box and it has a path that selected item whatever is selected item I want to see the name so if, let's say for example if, if, I, if I want to see the number I will change this to the number and another way is that I have a mode which is one way two way and we have some other options 
so one way is that I can actually see uh, uh, the object but I cannot actually modify that or I cannot change the 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 value so if I say let's say John 2 it will it will remain John it will not update this and uh, uh, but how do I know that this object actually has been updated or not I can actually do one thing to just demonstrate this I can add a button over here and if I press this button I will actually uh, uh, display uh, the list of these items so I will just double click and add an event handler and in this case I will actually need to move this uh, list or declare this list at this uh, class level so and then I actually initialize this over here so that I can access this list directly from inside this button so this is a class level now so this, this contact I would actually I should better use for each so I will actually iterate through these items so in this case I have this item as a contact so I will console dot right line item dot which of example name so when I press this button I want to see the names So if I press this you see that we are getting names over here and uh, if I press this if I change this and if I press this I'm getting John and David again so let's clear this console all right so which means that I can when I select this I can just view I cannot change this so what if I change this binding to make it two-way this is one way to so make it two way binding so if I make it two way binding I can actually when I select this I say John 2 if I press button you can see that actually the list is actually list is modified if I say select David to David and make it David 2 and I press a button and you see that John and David their names are actually modified so which means that the actual list is modified but unfortunately we don't see this list over here uh, because this list is not observable list so we actually need to implement a mechanism of observable list and uh, it's a bit complex so I'm actually not implementing it right now but I can do one thing is that whenever a user press this button I actually refresh this list the items of this list so let's for example items uh, oh, sorry list box dot items dot refresh so I want to refresh this uh, these items uh, in this list so it will actually kind of re-render this and will reload these items again actually this is not a better approach for the longer list but for now I'm just trying to demonstrate so if I press button over here you see that this is change over here so David true so you see that actual list has been modified so because of two-way binding you see I have not written any code anything in C sharp I just use uh, XAML to bind so this is the simplest uh, way of binding uh, elements together so I'm just actually using this syntax and actually I'm binding I'm t specifying the the name and I'm just actually binding the contents of this list directly in this so in this case I was I was showing the name I can actually show the number I'm not actually getting intelligence over here because uh, everything is done in the runtime so it does not know that what would be the selected item uh, beforehand at the time of design so design time it has no knowledge so in this case I have this just change this plus nine to something 
so you see that if I press so it's updated now all right <coughs> so uh, uh, so this is one way of uh, doing thing things uh, we have an item source over here and in item source I'm actually specifying the list of type contact contact is a user defined class having name and number uh, so this is about uh, binding how we can do that uh, so so in in another way of binding is that I actually uh, uh, instead of uh, using two string I can actually do one more thing is that I'm actually editing a template so uh, so, so item that I want to display over here in this case we have a name and number but maybe uh, the way I want to display an name and number and maybe we have a profile picture of a contact so uh, maybe we have an image so I want to show an image on the left and I want to show the name on the top and the uh, and the number in the bottom in a different font style and italic so how do we do this and how do I want how do I display the contact uh, in this way so I can actually create my own template that how a single item should be displayed to do this I can actually go and right click in additional templates item template and create an empty template so there is no existing template so I will create a new one so when I create a template uh, I definitely have a name let's say for example I will call it uh, contact template and uh, I can actually choose that do I want to define this at application level so that I can actually use that tem template again in multiple window let's say possible so inside this document I can also choose to have it at window level so that if I am using multiple list inside this window I can reuse that or I can actually embed that inside this list so let's say for example if I choose this so it this template would be inside would be created inside this uh, list in the XAML so you see that this is a data template and we have it and we have a designer over here by the way so where is the grid here is the grid so we have a grid over here and I can actually <coughs> uh, add multiple items over here inside this grid let's say for example if I add a label over here so in, in both cases I will use let's say for example label so I will put a label over here like this and I want to show a number inside this label I can actually resize a bit so its text is 12 point and uh, I can actually leave it at 12 points I I also want to use another label which is for uh, the phone number that I'm going to display over here so I will actually go to the grid and I put it like this Here is the grid. What's happening? So here is the grid. Here is the label. Grid a bit smaller. So right. So let's say for example, if I want to align this content to the right, so I can actually go and search for the alignment property, or I can actually do the horizontal alignment the horizontal alignment to the right of this label alright so uh, also if I run this now what do I get 
so I am getting label 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 so this is one object this is another object but in the case of that object I am just displaying this so instead of this I am actually trying to use binding and I want to bind this label with the name and I want to bind this label with the number so you see that now I have my own style of this binding and I have uh, this element I can have several more elements depending upon the type of complexity of this uh, list box uh, that I'm showing the content over here so for example let's see the layout so the horizontal alignment is towards the right but why it's not showing towards the right I don't know why what's happening and uh, let's uh, change its uh, uh, its text to let's say for example italic and maybe some a bit smaller size and if I run this so now I have actually modified this content and if I select this the number is mod uh, has been moved over here and I can actually change this to plus uh, let's say 9 to some number and if I update this it's been updated alright so this is how about we actually uh, create a template how do I get out of this template because I'm stuck over here and I cannot come out of this uh, template so to do this I actually need help from the document outline and I can get out of this uh, uh, template and I can um, ba come back to the window scope like this and whenever I need to edit the uh, template I can actually do that directly from XAML and if I want to see the designer I actually go to the additional template and I can actually edit the current template so this is my current template and I'm actually modifying that template I can actually use the anchor property to anchor to create an anchor with this uh, template uh, with this grid so I can make it a bit bigger <coughs> like this and if I run this um, I can see this this over here alright and uh, to demonstrate this uh, that uh, image thing that I just discussed I can actually do that one is that just to give you an idea what I what I was talking about is I will just zoom in select the grid move it a bit like this and insert an image <coughs> <coughs> sorry let's use the same source <coughs> so you see that this image will be displayed with each contact so actually this will not happen like this it will be actually uh, getting the image from the uh, from some source from the class or from the database from somewhere else and definitely uh, we will not be hard coding this and we will be we will be actually doing the binding that we have done so let's uh, get out of the scope and that's how actually uh, binding works
all right i guess uh, that's all